Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to RimWorld, Freedom's Drift, and the never-ending saga of waiting for Grandma and Oath Knight to get married. <laughs> that's that's the grand finale of the series, or at least that's what I had thought it would be. But we're getting a little closer, 53, 62, they're, they're, they're liking on each other. And then all about an hour ago, I've, I've been playing for a while. In fact, we're into the first of winter. Got this message here that says that Oath Knight has accepted Grandma's marriage proposal. To tell you the truth, I thought we'd already done that. So apparently the last notice we got was that they decided to date. At some point in the coming days or seasons, uh, there will be they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider pl placing a marriage spot. Okay, we've done all of that. Jump to... Okay, so I guess it's it's now official. Hmm, but I paused it because I kind of got this little tiff going on here. Tomislav and Michael decided to duke it out with each other because uh, Tomislav insulted Michael and drove Michael into a rage, and he began a fight. And Tomislav bashed Michael with, with his head, lacerating his neck while laughing. Ow. Tomislav hit Michael hit Tomislav with a clobber from his forceful left fist, wounding his torso while wearing a savage look. And Michael slammed Tomislav, bruising his torso while laughing, and Tomislav bashed Michael in the right arm. So far, pretty evenly matched here. Boom, boom. Michael smashed Tomislav with his sturdy left fist, bruising his left foot while laughing, and Tomislav slammed Michael with his stout head. <laughs> Michael attempted to slam Tomislav, but the swing went wide. Tomislav clobbered Michael in the head, wounding his right shoulder while wearing a savage look. Man, this guy's going to be in the hospital for a long time. All right, we've got Michael smashed Tomislav with his mighty right fist, injuring his left arm without emotion. And Tomislav tried to smash Michael with his stout head, but missed. So we're pretty dead even right now, and they called it done. No longer social fighting. Okay, so you guys are going to the hospital and going to get a meal. No, and you're going where? Uh, you're going to go look at a telescope. Um, what have we got going on here? Tomislav, health. Bruise, 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 bruise. Okay, you're no, no problem there. Bruises and cracks. Sure, whatever. Go do your things. You're fine. Now we got to clean up your blood. You're going to bleed all over the, the colony. No, you're not leaking anymore. Good. <laughs> it's Rim World. Anyway. So, we've got a official notice that a marriage is coming. Isabella's pregnant. Penny has given birth. But and there's a little baby Penny right there. Muffalo Calf 2. Um, what I might do is just record this in segments. I could do something like that. Just... Kind of put a transition in from new recruit, from one uh, jump to, from one uh, major event to another. K. Okay. All right. Well, there was one last request that had come in from someone who found the series late named Justin. So I said if we could sneak one more in, we would. So let's go ahead and do that. Character, you are... Let's try that again. Justin. And who is Justin. Justin grew up in a shelter deep beneath a toxic world. He received a comprehensive education and had no opportunity to do physical labor, which means plus two social and plus three medicine, but minus on construction and mining, but a boost in intellectual. Then as an adult, on his 21st birthday, Justin experienced a religious awakening. He decided to spend the rest of his life spreading the word of his deity, the beauty of its culture, and its unusual med medical tradition. Unusual medical tradition. Okay, so medicine minus three, artistic plus four, and social plus four. That gives us what? He can grow. <laughs> now we have art in there and intellectual, but I think we're going to go for growing as the primary. Art is a secondary, but there's no, there's no boost. It, great if you could use the uh, the passions it gives it gives them a mood boost all day long but there's not a lot of growing going on at the moment we're kind of in the winter in fact it had snowed for a while before uh, uh, in between the two episodes but uh, 
there any still snow on the ground? Soil? Snow. It's just a dusting out there now. It's kind of gray. Okay, it was, it was quite white there for a while, and that cold snap kept uh, everything really brutally cold. It lasted for quite a while. Would have been another two-hour episode of just listening to the, the wind blowing and the snow falling and not a lot going on. Anyway, um, Kay is over... Justin's over there. Okay, we've got Justin. Who is Justin? Justin... I we never finished with that one. Let's go back there. Character. Let's read these two. Depressive. Justin is perennially unhappy. He has trouble sustaining a good mood even when everything is fine. Ooh, negative 12 mood effect. Yeah, we've got to put him on growing to kind of balance that out. And Justin is lazy. He's just a little bit lazy. Goal work speed, negative 20%. Okay, so let's go over here. And Justin's right there. Let's do that. And right there, that works. And a sign. Looking for a J right there. You will be ranged. You will be no drugs. And being ranged. Why are you not right here? Interesting. How did Justin get hidden from me? Why am I not seeing you? There. Why did you land over here in the list? Huh. There's the original five. And you popped in right there next to Sangria. Okay. I'm not going to pretend to figure that one out. I want you to come grab an assault rifle. So do that one and then go ahead and do what you want. Yeah, see so you got your toque, so you're going to be nice and warm. And now you're heading over to grab some pants. You just like that pair. And now you're resting. Let's give you an official bed. This one over here in the ranged area can be a Justin. Right there. Okay. You're set. Assigned. Restrict. Work. Let's work on that. You're right in the middle. There ones. Doctoring. Four. We'll leave you at a four. Warden. You have a little bit of skill there. I'll make you a two on that one. Handle. Uh, capable of it. Incapacitated refugee opportunity. We'll pause here for a second. Uh, make that a four. Cook is a no. Hunt is a two. We'll have to work on your shooting skills. So we'll make it possible. Uh, construction's a no. Growing is a yes. That's going to be a one. Mining, nope. Plant cutting is a one. And smithing, threes. Art, six. Make that a two. So warding is your first two, then you drop into art. Otherwise, you'll be hauling. So... Yeah... That's helpful. We'll figure out how, how to make that work together. Um, there and there. All right. So what was this all about? Mitsuya, politician, contacts you on radio and requests help. He's wounded and unable to move. Without your help, he will die within six days. Maybe dangerous there, so beware. Oh, you want us to go somewhere else a long way. I can't even reach that in six days. He'll die in six days. It's 14 days away. <laughs> Mitsuya, you're toast. <laughs> Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Okay, we gotta think about uh, basic requirements for uh, for uh, those kind of missions, RimWorld. That, that just doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, well, they're waiting for someone to help them. Health is... needs, foods... Okay, waiting for a doctor. Oh, no, Tomasov's been helped. So, Michael's needing some attention. Hmm, who is up? Natalia would be up, and she's busy over here. If I reset you, you're making an armor vest, so somebody else has got you. George? George is resting. Who else is up there? Oath Knight? No. Who else does medical that I'm not thinking of? All right, let's go this way. Uh, work, doctor. George, Oath Knight, Natalia. Okay, so Cyprian and Cathra. Cyprian's there. Cathra is there. Who... Why did Natalia not automatically go over to work on Michael? When I double-clicked on her. 
because Gnarly took it. Ah, there's the answer. Okay. Gnarly got the, the job first. So this is Cyprian. Artery blockage. Blockage at 29%. We may still finish this series before the heart attack hits. That would be good. So we made our last uh, armor vest. And Natalia is now working on her unfinished component. So if I were to take that... Oh, we've used quite a few. We were at 100 before. The game threw a whole bunch of broken things at me. It's snowing outside. So went through a whole bunch of our components. So I guess we'll just leave this up and running. She's also spent quite a bit of time making more medicine. Uh, over here. So we're maxed out there. What is the bill... 225 and we're at 223. So 225 means another full stack over here. Not quite. 13. Another full stack over here. No? Okay. So I'd need 150 and one. I'd need 300 to fill those up. Okay. Well, go ahead and give them something to do then. Details. 300. Okay. That'll keep her busy. Okay. So, otherwise, outdoors is 15 degrees out. Batteries. Looking pretty good here. Running on one bank now. Temperature inside here. I had to add a second heater to this one. We're maintaining 64 now. Am I paused? Oh, I'm paused. Pause is no good when you're waiting for a wedding. And I gave him something else to do up in here. Went in through this pathway in to connect this last uh, geothermal to give us access to the heat. It was 115 in here, so I thought I'd transfer it into here. And we're at 67 now with three heaters running and four geothermals all heating this up. So that's working out pretty good. And I got rid of that... Uh, that pathway of sandbags. Went ahead and moved the power into here instead. That came out a lot cleaner. Decided though not to put a door in this space. It's already kind of hard to route enemies around. How would they do it then? If they got into here and couldn't make that, they'd have to go all the way back, all the way down. Oh, we're not doored there. We were doored there one time. I guess that's all been blown up. Uh huh. Well, we'll leave it then. So they can come into here and come around. If we have any more attacks. Miss P, what you doing out there? You're digging at limestone. Oh, you must have... That's right, I did find two more steel hiding in there. So you're on your way to... There. Let's have you do... Hmm. I was going to say, let's work on these components. That means have you go there, then there, then there. Maybe that'll work. I'm hearing somebody tapping. Sea Stars is hiding in here. And Klaus. Okay. Okay. Um, food. How are we doing? I notice they're finally starting to put some voids in the freezer. Things have really slowed down in growth during the cold snap. I was barely able to hold this freezing in here. It wasn't killing anything, but wasn't doing much growing either. Umlope is pregnant. That's right, we had a baby. I've got to go check animals. So the rate of, of uh, plants growing sure slowed down. We did replant all of this into hay, though, so we can kind of get through this winter. Our reserve is not looking like it did last year. And last year we used most of it up, so this is going to be a little rough. Wild boars giving birth. Okay, animals. So many animals. Um, this group in here is... Rabbit did some training. Okay. And what else is going on? Down over in this area, wild boars. You guys. There we go. And that it? Looks that way. Level 5 is supposed to be there. Okay. Um, reminds me, Oath Knight made a comment about an easier way to do this rather than click on, say, Joy and try to run this pathway here is to copy and paste it. 
How do you do that? Pretty sure that that isn't possible. I can't select something and then hit even control V and control C. I can do that and control copy paste. No. Don't know how you can how you would copy and paste this if this is what you're talking about. So let me know what you what you what you're trying to tell me because I don't see anything in here that would let me copy and paste their sleep or joy or any of this into here. You know what what you were talking about there because that didn't make sense. We're still snowing. We're still snowing. Freezer is slowly starting to um to empty. I've got my other screen over here and. Mrs. Rambler is tossing little pastes into a text window and it's distracting me. Anyway, um, otherwise, what is there to do right now? We're just kind of in a holding pattern while they just do what they do. They've all got jobs. They're all doing a good job of it. What's, what's Justin up to at the moment? He is hauling bear meat, so he's on hauling mode because there's no uh, growing to do, no planting. Indoors, all the plant pots are planted, and even in the jail, what we're not using. Oh, I guess we can turn that light off. And yeah, grabbing meals. I did have them put uh, oh, a few of the lavish meals in. I think I selected 20 just to give Grandma and Oath Knight something to do one day when we were completely finished with our queue of all of our uh, cooking bills and uh, get a little more meat used up. I need to find a time during the night when one of these meat spaces are empty so I can have someone go and put eggs over in there. So we're not filling up too much with milk and eggs over here. I want to be able to, want, want to, be able to put the meat in there all the time. Um, I've only got one butcher table up and running, so... And that's... I wonder who's using that. Oh, you're grabbing that. Hmm. This is set up for kibble first and butcher last. And I'm, Michael's using this one to make kibble. Okay, well maybe somebody else has that one assigned. But lots of kibble moving around and through while we were kibbling in here. Kibble's you know, 32, I think it's set for somewhere around 3,000, so we will be ending that soon. Otherwise, that's why I'm thinking that this series is over because it's just not much more to do. Just kind of waiting for some elusive marriage out there. There's no more. There's nothing else for me to design or build or send them on, you know, on their way to accomplish. We've done about all that's necessary. Andy, you are hauling wood. Okay. I did queue up all the trees in this area and brought a whole bunch more wood in. And even wiped out good chunk of this area in between snowstorms and they uh, chopped all that down and I see the pigs have hauled them all in. Our wolf is still over here. How's he doing? She doing? Two-year-old timber wolf. Not much in the way of prey out here anymore. Grab that turtle. Um, we did have a, there we go, bunch of, what are you guys? Gazelles. Gazelles don't seem to fit this uh, this ecosystem. Oh well, I don't think we've had gazelles before. And there's an ibex that feels a little more normal. A um, whole bunch of wild boars. They're going to be hungry soon, aren't they? 20% grown, 29% grown, 30% grown. Yeah, there's, no, there's no mature food out here. 54 Looking to see if anybody's sitting and eating anything. So they're going to be leaving the map soon, but we just don't really need any more uh, any more meats. Pig eleven going on. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to transition here into the next uh, event that happens, rather than just hover around and watch things for two or three hours. So, catch you on the other side. And then Rimworld dumped a bunch of elk on us. Is that what these are? Elk, yeah. So, I went ahead and queued everybody up. Don't know if they're going to get here in time, though. Almost everybody needed dinner. 
but there were a few who had snuck off and got a meal early, like Gnarly and I think Daniel. Yeah, so they're they're racing up there, but we'll see if uh, if they're going to get there in time to refill our our freezer, which we did manage to get rid of a, quite a bit of the of the uh, the carcasses in there. Though for fun, I did throw a, a few of them into the mortars just to see what that would do. <laughs> Hopefully they're oh oh oh. Let's see if that's going to do any good or not. I thought, yeah, just for fun. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that that did something. Uh-huh. Of course, we're probably going to target ourselves more than anything. What was that pause there? Was that another launch? Uh, doesn't look like it. Who? Grandma's heading for this one. Sea Star's got that one. Okay, so... <laughs> I've never hunted with mortars before. I thought, okay, that'd be an interesting uh, way to finish off the series. And Grandma, yours is aiming at... So they scattered, so it was easier before. Yeah, we'll see how this works. Okay, you guys are almost in place. I need to kind of head them off. That's what I want to do. But I need to be able to run for cover if they if they suddenly attack. So... Let's go as far as there. Now I've got a, everyone who's grabbing meals is going to meet out in this area. Everybody who's not is going for this area, so I'll try to keep track of everything. Let's get to here. Got to go through the doors. And there comes another missile. Can you reach? You can. Okay, well that scared them backwards again. Okay. Got more coming in. You guys will jump into kind of that area. Anybody getting Diamond's head this way? Let's send Diamond into this crowd too, right there. Okay, so mortars. Let's aim the mortars again at the at the front of the pack. That kind of works. I didn't uh, didn't think that would, but front of the pack, but not to hit us. That's the challenge. So there, that's probably the next one to, actually Grandma's maybe the next one to go off. We'll see. Grandma's, you, you're aiming at where right now? Aiming kind of right out in there. Let's send you into this area. Right there. And the other one's still back here somewhere and that's probably okay. Alright, so you guys need a new target? Probably do. Let's go out to about like so. And can you reach anything? Really want you up here. Hmm. There we go that far. I need to get to these two. Here comes the missile that's going to go to those two. You guys try it. You guys go over to here. We'll see what's... Okay, they ran the other... Oh, we hit the other herd now. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, you guys go after that one. You guys are still trying to hit this one. Okay, that's done. You guys take out him. And you guys sneak up to there. And I guess go for this bull. This elk bull right here, which looks like he's going to... Uh... Is that a male? That's a poplar tree. Yep, yeah, that's a bull. So... He'll probably do some damage if he decides to go after us. Meanwhile, who made it out here? Alicia did all by yourself. Let's grab these three up. Oh, these five, six, seven, eight. There's a handful. And get you over to this area. I don't know where they're exiting the map. And whoever goes here... Hmm, there's nowhere to run to for safety. So you're just going to have to make it work. I put you over here if I knew they were coming down and through, but they're not. Okay, so with that going on, um, still have three or four working their way through. We have a Smokey. What is a Smokey? That's a dog. And be one good way to use up a bunch of our mortars. We're using up the incendiaries. All right, let's go. That was another hit up in this area. Oh, the blood. Okay. You guys take out that one. You guys take out... You reach that? Actually, that one. They're coming at you really fast. You guys... 
You missed that one over there. Can you reach this one? You can. Okay, you guys are not in place yet, but you should... Ah, this is their pathway. Okay. Then pull out all of you guys then. Head to here. I guess we can kind of dive into there if we need to. Yeah, actually I like here better. You can shoot up into this and you can get into these two doors. Okay, that works. That's that whole group there. There's still these guys. Um, hmm. Yeah, come on up into here. Diamond just arrived too. Come up into there. Diamond, jump into this group. You guys are going after. You guys are looking for a new target right there. Okay. The group of you take out that one. You guys are still going after. Okay. Do we do the gazelles? I'd rather not. Have we injured any? Don't see any red dots, though so you took a, a shot and went down. Okay, so we are done with this area. So let's merge you into this group. And you guys take out that one. Oh, another missile coming in. And... Hmm. How do we do this? Cathra can shoot, fire at. Um, you guys can fire at. Klaus, I'm going to say no just yes. You three go at that. we got to... Where'd that missile go? I hear you. Oh, you hit right over there. Okay. So... There may be... We may have taken down the, the one that some of these were aimed at. Yeah, no red line anymore. Okay. So, Grandma, you work on randomly that one. Hunting with mortars. That's That that sounds so much like a RimWorld-ish sort of thing to do. Yeah. Where are you? Right there. Eric, your next target is... I don't know where you were aiming. Red line. You're right there after a downed one. Okay. So you head into the tail end of this stuff. Okay. All right. You guys as a whole take out that one. And let's see what you guys are up to. Okay. Let you guys do what? Hmm. That is a good question, because if we can keep them from ever getting into this pass, they're, they're not going to do anything. So I guess we need two groups. Let's just send you guys up into there. And you guys stay down into here. And we'll just continue. There's the herd going that way. Okay, so let's... you guys hit there. Missed. That, that did scatter them, though. You guys head into here. Because they're running at you like crazy. And there. Here comes another one. Boom. <laughs> oh, this doesn't seem fair. Doesn't seem sportsman-like. Take out that one. And that one. Nope, nope, nope. Right there. Okay. You guys, you first ones, hit there. And now the whole group can go there. This whole group goes there. You guys there. You guys there. You guys are headed for somewhere in there. Oh, both knights in that one. What was the... Oh, we had a... We had a big boom hit somewhere else. Okay, well, let's check our mortars one more time. And our mortar... Mortarers. Grandma, you're good for a little while longer. Okay. You are attacking. Oh, we'll do... That one. And then... Eric, how you doing? You were, you're going to need to rest here real soon. Your mortar is going after 
that one. That looks fine. And who is the other? Sea Stars? Yeah, Sea Stars is going to need to eat here soon, but the hunt's not going to last that much longer. And you're still aimed at something. Right there, that's getting a little close. Let's re-aim you up into there. All right, so you guys are going after nothing unless we go after gazelles. We did injure that one, so let's go for that one. You guys are going after there. With those knight in the in the crowd, we're going to injure everything. So. <laughs> Okay, you guys going after... Who's moving in this area? Nobody. Okay, you just pause for a little bit. You guys are the ones who are going to be uh, getting exciting here. I hear another rocket coming in. Okay, scattered them. You go after... That? Nope. Sit and stay. Well, dropped your meal. Come a little closer, like to here. That works. You guys are doing what right now? You're waiting for this one to come down. Right there. Okay, you're after this one. You're after this one. After this one. Boy, it's nice having 30 hunters. Oh, there's the mini gun. Go after that one. And after that one. After that one, and we're just about done. I guess that gazelle. You guys are kind of finished down here. We have you coming in. Oh, you can reach that one. Alrighty. Wonder if we should let some of the herd actually finish the migration that might be uh, I'm, I'm starting to doubt that my uh, freezer is going to be able to handle this you guys go after just the wounded from here on out okay wounded there except miss a P yep miss a P okay there's a wounded there come down a little you guys, there's a couple that aren't wounded. We'll let a, a mating pair make it through. Okay, what's happening here? You guys take that one out. And you guys... Elk Revenge. Hmm, what does that mean? An elk is no longer... Okay. So, of what, of the ones that are left, need to take that one out, and that is it. Let's see if we can't single that one out. Over here, not wounded, not wounded, not wounded, not wounded. This one is. Take that one out. And probably should shut down the, uh, the mortars now. Yeah, might be a good idea. Um, where am I at? Grandma, go ahead and grab a... Consume a meal. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. And you guys have already left. Interesting. Why do they do that? Operating... Oh, you ran out of bullets. What? What are you? Incendiary. Oh, this is the other one. Oh, okay. Ran out of bullets. So in that case, you can clear. You can clear... And let's make sure do we get a bunch more of these made while I'm thinking of it. Bills, these would be high explosive shells. Um, let's do 50 times. All right, Natalia will love working on that. So those are done. You're grabbing a meal. And we're just cleaning up the one last one. And then we're going to haul everything in. So all of you guys kind of take out that one. Okay. And that is a hunt. And that is a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and pause right here and go to all the trouble of 
hauling everything in and hunting the last of them, and I'll catch you on the other side of this transition. Boom! And then a meteorite hit. Huh. Next. And then there was malaria. <laughs> Thanks, Ram World. Jump to, we got handy. Oh, what's an easier way to do this? There we go. Diamond, George, Eric, David, Radar, Bliss, Manuela, Sangria, and Alicia. All gotten sick with malaria. So, such is the life at Freedom's Drift. Colonists need treatment. Yep. We're going to file in, take over our hospital. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are these official beds? They're not. So the other ones are just going to their own bed. That'll be fine. So I'll go through and we'll get one round of blue medicine on everybody. And now yeah, we'll just probably just stick to the blue medicine. Yeah, that's fine. we got plenty of Nutramine left and, and more fabric than we've got space for. More cotton cloth. So that little snowman, I think that was there from several days ago. Surprise, still see that. Anastasia's pregnant, and everybody's in here going, Oh, I'm sick. I don't need to work anymore. So, yeah. And a combat supplier. All right. So, I haven't had a, a uh, merchant in a long time. They've got 2,500 to deal with. We've got 6,500 silver right now. Strange that it's rounded off like that. That must be what's actually sitting on shelves to a complete, you know, stack of them in places that have the uh, the, the orbital trade beacons. That must be why it's that exact number. Anyway, what do they have that we need? Don't need any medicine. Components... No, we've still got 75 to 80. I'm not going to worry about those. Don't see any weapons that we truly need. Uh, scenario launcher, we've got two of those. Just kind of glancing as I'm working over here. Um, nope, nothing in there. Assault rifles, we have run out of them. Eh, so that means they've got one. Sure. Let's see, combat. Combat wouldn't have any of the... Now, if it was if they had bionics, that would be up here with the medicine. They do have five fire foam shells, though. Thirty-seven of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and do ten of those. Sure. Um, but back here, that mostly just weapons and armor vests. We got plenty of. Um, a good shield belt. Fifteen hundred. Normally, I would say no, but. The series is about over. Let's go ahead and spend the money. Plasteel, power helmets. Um, that's it. Okay, what do we get rid of? Let's see. We've got a bunch of sculptures to get rid of, but a lot of these are our good ones. They just haven't been read. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to read sculptures. Let's go ahead and clear out a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that we want to get rid of. So... Gladius, we'll keep those. You are a revolver. 59%. We'll dump that one. 494 going through there revolver 83 got to keep some just because they look good on the shelf LMG poor good what's over there trying to see this with my peripheral vision while reading over here that's a challenge with this game the way they've got this set up shield belt poor we'll dump that one. Oh, four of them are like that yeah 50%, none of them will wear it anyway. So I guess so. So that one too. <clears throat> Otherwise, another shield belt that we're taking from them. Yeah. Um, okay, 59%. Helmets. We have a lot of helmets. Let's go ahead and dump the uh, the helmets. There, there. Poor, good. Awful is one they've got. What's this group down here? Plasteel Vents, Helmet, 97%. Okay, get rid of the sculptures that are good or normal. What we got for negative 610? Okay, so we haven't even begun to tap theirs yet. There's a good there. There's a good. 
And they owe us 320 is what it looks like we're going to end with. I believe so. Okay, we're going to call that one done then. Except, and let's take a look at some sculptures and get these set out. So we have a... <clears throat> A Cyprian, a Cyprianian sculpture. Steel, large, superior, red stream. This carving bears an artwork of a silent cave. We've struck uranium ore. A stork is shown in the background. The work suggests the concept of illness. <laughs> Thanks, Cyprian. Um, you are from Cyprian. Beauty of 500. Large steel masterwork. Sangria's Avoir. That how you, that's how you spell that? This piece bears an artwork of a tree. The subjects are in front of a cliff. The plural subjects of the tree. While the image seems to express Armageddon. <laughs> okay, Billy's got one in. Stripe number one, beauty of 350. Excellent wooden. On this work bears an artwork of Michael. Working furiously while... Covered in sweat. The scene is surrounded by six books. A dead fish lies in the distance, and the work has an abstract feeling in a square structure. This representation refers to Michael becoming a master at shooting. On the 14th of Jugus, 5504. Cool. That one sounds like something to put in the prison, doesn't it? Yeah, this is what what's uh, ahead for you if you don't uh, join us. Okay, this one. We've got Song of Hostility by Billy. 350, beauty, wooden, sculpture, excellent art. This work bears a depiction of an abstracted depiction. A depiction of an abstracted depiction? A void. <laughs> the image is totally devoid of both oppression and nearness. The subjects are in front of a stream. Just in case you needed to know that. Billy put together a wild boar's shame. 200. Beauty. Steel. Superior. Sculpture is a depiction of a townsman riding on an ant, wearing a jock strap holding a shotgun. <laughs> what was he drinking when he made this one? There is a hair off to one side while the figurative style of the central scene clashes with the neoclassical depiction of the background. I'd say that's a front door piece. Yeah, sure, you can go right there. <laughs> and this one. Oh, something else dropped in. Oh boy, it, it mixed in there. Um, what do we have here? Excellent quality, Beauty 350, Cyprian, granite, black image. On the sculpture is an image of a brightly glowing spot glazing across the sky. Ah, meteor. All right. Four figures prepare tools and equipment. The subjects are in front of a crag, and the work suggests the concept of, of cash. The depiction relates to a meteorite falling near Bliss's hamlet on the 8th of September. Oh, not our meteor. Okay. Well, let's install that one somewhere. Um, sure. Let's fill these in a bit. You are going there. You can go there. You can go... Hmm. Sure. Get one in that area. And you can be put while Boar's giving birth. Where? Okay. That'll do that. Just kind of running out of space here. Oh, there was one that didn't get red. Blue still. There it is. Okay, bye Billy. 200. Carbon bearers. Artwork of Cyprian. Polishing the surface of a sculpture with a gleam in his eye. Dozens of clerics gaze in awe. Hey, you tuck it, Kaya. Alright, well, another sculpture of a sculpture of a sculpture being made. Um, item 3. That's new. Let's do that one real quick. Billy Beauty 500. Re work resembles Daniel packing supplies for a journey and an eager look in his eye uncountable purposes wander peacefully the lower part of the image is dominated by stream the work suggests the concept of seclusion the depiction tells the story of daniel departing for adventure on the third of jugist you can go where where can you go kitchens full hospitals full um all the rooms 
are in good shape. Um, I guess we can work on our our uh, construction rooms out here. Where would be best to put something in here? Right there, sure. So you do not have a home either. You were red stream. That's the first one we read. Install you over in right there. Just make that room look snazzier. And I think that is the end of the sculptures. No, oh, you are white shape. Carving illustrates Michael cowering from Tomislav while Tomislav kicks him. <laughs> Tomislav is visibly wounded. The image seems to express trouble. The subjects in front of a mountain. The representation refers to Michael attacking Tomislav on the first of December. So you get to be installed to see Tomislav uh, Michael cowering from Tomislav. So I guess Tomislav would probably like to have this in his bedroom. Make Handy uh, impressed with her husband right there. Okay, those are done. And I will progress the map a little further. Okay, a couple days have passed and Faith has decided to throw a party. So, Faith is throwing a party. Everyone who will go will gain joy and social energy and lasting positive mood boost. So, we're going to really test out our rec room here. Inspiration Go Frenzy Billy, the dude, has just been inspired. He will walk one and a half times faster. So, been lots of these little things going on that I've not bothered to record, but uh, nothing real crazy. In fact, I've I've turned off the major events just so we can get the get to the marriage and... and uh, all the series done. I don't want to go through another hour and a half long battle. And I'm noticing, I don't know if we'll see it here as I've been progressing along, but every 10 seconds the whole game freezes for a second while it seems to recalculate everything. Let's see if it shows it here. I noticed it just as I said that. Now I don't see it again. There it is. So when I'm running at a two speed, it's really exaggerated and it feels like something's going to crash. So I shut the game down and restart it and still it, it's, it's doing that. So kind of wondering for kind of seeing a, a CPU limit or something. I don't know. But there's another one. Yeah, but pauses worry me. I've had this game crash many times on me throughout this whole series and hate to see that again. But we got a party going on and are you officially attending? You are, even though you're out here. Because parties tend to bring about fist fights. And that's our party spot right there. Where is Faith right now? She's over here, attending party, talking to Rabbit and Faith are having a little uh, yelling, putting each other down thing going there. Um, otherwise, a bunch of high fives and everybody's happy. And how's Oath Knight looking as far as as Grandma? We got a 60 and 69 now. Okay, so we're getting there. Don't know where there is, but we're we're quickly on our way. I just hear a boom, like a shot in the distance. Yeah, maybe not. Squirrel is looking for. Is it Faith that has the uh, the two animals? Yeah, Rat and Squirrel. <laughs> she has a rat named Rat and a squirrel named Squirrel. Handy is on her way to consume a lavish meal because she's starving and is not going to continue. Too bad they can't eat. Move the party spot over to here and let them eat while they're having a party. This just seemed like a good place for it. And it's done. Wow. Everyone's off to... I wonder how many people are going to eat all at the same time. I've never actually used both tables at once. I bet you this will be the first time we've done that. Grabbing all those lavish meals. No, oh, ran out of lavish meals. You have to get what you can get. Yep, we're going we're gonna to fill this room up. Wow. Look at that. Otherwise, it's just been me kind of sitting here playing at double the speed and just watching these little ants run all around the ant farm. And uh, so far, there's been no such thing as an idle colonist, which is good. Did have a little zip, so lost some battery power, and and uh, Huck, the dog, got uh, zapped by it, but everything's fine there now. Kind of blew up in the right in this area here. Otherwise, nothing real exciting to report. I just heard a squeal. Okay, we've eaten a rat. And that rat's probably going to be consumed, right? Needs, foods, gone. 
I filled you up. Okay, that's done. Did have them, I guess this was the pathway the elk were going to take, and there were a couple of them that were wounded and made it to here and yeah, weren't too happy. But, um, what was I going to say? I did have them come out and cut some more, uh, some more wood. We do have two wolves going on right now. Two-year-old male timber, or female timber wolf, and a six-year-old female timber wolf, and no others other than a fox that was up in this area a while ago. But we're low on food, so I don't know where. Well, the fox made it to here and just had a squirrel for dinner. Must be uh, dinner time in the animal world. You gonna finish it? You are. Yep. There's those pauses. One of these pauses, I'm pretty sure, is gonna crash the game, and I'm a little concerned about that. And I've been going at this for, oh, over two hours, close to three hours now, trying to get to an exciting conclusion, which isn't happening other than Radar's passed out here. At, now he's fine in the, uh, the entryway there. But uh, maybe I will continue recording tomorrow, but still just edit all these little segments into the same video. Probably the route to go. And a couple days later, just got a notice that Sea Stars had a birthday. And for her birthday, unfortunately, she has gained the following diseases due to aging cataracts. So, happy birthday, Sea Stars. <laughs> and a little while ago, we had an Ibex, self tame. So, sleeping over here. So, out of that, well, not that group. That, those were, what were those called? Yeah, they were an Ibex. Are they still on the map or have they all roamed away? They have, but from somewhere else, an ibex has self-tamed. Yeah, the map's empty now. We're in the dead of winter. Not a lot of snow. No more cold snaps, thankfully. But it uh, it's it's kind of dead out there. Not much is growing. Did manage to get these eggs though out of here, and looks like it's time to get some more butchering going on. We're running low on meat. I went ahead and, like I mentioned before, set uh, oh some lavish no. Lavish meals. I don't see any. There's one. Yeah, they're eating those first, so they always go away. But I think it's time to turn those off, just because lavish. Okay, there's no lavish in that one. There you are. So suspend you and suspend you, because that is taking out the meat really quick. Okay, we shut those down. And pemmican, or uh, not pemmican, kibble. They're still working on. But come up with excuses to get Grandma and Oath Knight into the same rooms together. <laughs> so anyway, oh, what we got here? Yeah, a lot of breakdowns. It's Once you have components in stock, Rimworld just loves to take them away. So you're crashing on me. In the middle of the night when I... Ah, we got a good charge. We're good. So, in fact, let's swap these out just to save that good charge and we'll work on that set. So, continuing on... Well, we just had a hard snow. It was kind of fun watching, uh, oh, I think it was Diamond and Shantigo out there shoveling all of the... That's not what I want. Right there, all the little paths we've got for snow removal. But that led me up here to notice that Justin is up working on sewing. And, and uh, he was, he's our newest character and really liked growing in the sense that he's gone from a two to a five already. So he's finally getting a good chance to get out there and just sew like crazy. And you don't have a green thumb, right? Right, so a green thumb would give you a big bonus over here. We still have a tended party. A cow has given birth. Where is a baby cow? Mm, I don't know, baby cow vanished. Huh. Baby cow, where'd you go? Up there? No. Boy, you'd think they'd still be near the Hmm. Animals and cows. Where are you guys at? Bull cow, bull cow, calf one. There, underneath the mommy. Okay, that makes sense. So, just had a calf. How are the animals looking? Billy Sangria, let's turn that one off. And that one on, main pasture. And everything else here looks right. Got a second dog trained. So it goes out to the dog area. Up here, the huskies. Did I mention that before? I don't know if I did. Were you... Th I had a couple of traders come in. So it's rather than showing all of them. I don't think I did show the last one. So 
there were a couple of, uh, of uh, huskies they had for sale. And they are over here. We've got now a Gertrude and a Noigi. <laughs> so we have a couple of huskies now. I know that was Cather's favorite animals. And we've got eggs that are... Now this one's okay. Ruined by temperature, yeah. So it got a little cold out here during the cold snap. And even though the heater was on, it wasn't enough. So it ruined the eggs. So they are, they are damaged by temperature. Anyway, um, I've noticed that our queue for more art is full. So let's read these real quick. We have a masterwork by Cyprian, Beauty of 500, and Peace depiction of, oh yeah, Peace bears a depiction of a wild boar holding her baby, a wild boar who is already trying to pull himself around in normal sun's gaze upon the scene. The detail-oriented style of the central scene clashes with the cubist depiction of the background. The smiling head of a criminologist watches over all. Uh -huh. On this sculpture by Billy of five of wild boar 200, artwork of a wild boar holding her newborn. I think they were copying each other. Uh huh. Next, <laughs> Billy then did a beauty of 200 steel sculpture superior. Um, resembles Billy taunting Cyprian while Cyprian kicks him. <laughs> Billy is screaming furiously. The image is totally devoid of both tyranny and death. Well, that's good. A snake smiles in the distance. Uh huh. Illustrates. Illustration refers to Billy assaulting Cyprian. Yeah, there's this little rivalry going on here. Artists, I tell ya. We've got over here Emptiness of Klaus, Beauty 350 by Grandma. Okay, Grandma snuck in here. Uh, work bears a representation of Klaus packing supplies for a journey. The emptiness for Klaus. Uh, journey. And equipped for exploration, six Thatchers watch from a distance. The lower part of the image is dominated by a crag. The work has a high glitch art feeling. No, work has a glitch art feeling. Where'd I get high? And an unbalanced structure. The work tells the story of Klaus forming a caravan on 3rd of Jugist. Next, we've got Billy. Picture number nine. Beauty 1000. Whoa. Legendary. I don't think we've had a thousand yet. I think that's a record. Four digits. This carving is a portrayal of a fist. The work is infused with the idea of persecution and is done in a Baroque style. The lower part of the image is dominated by a hill, because that's important. And we've got Cyprian, tune number 86. Excellent wooden sculpture, Beauty 350. This carving, carving bears an image of Cyprian, polishing the surface of a sculpture by Cyprian. While wiping the sweat from his forehead, the sculpture is intricately detailed. There is a forest off to one side. The modern style of the central scene clashes with a simple depiction of the background. The illustration relates to Cyprian finishing construction on a sculpture. We've got Billy, who has a 350 beauty on beat 9 steel sculpture. This carving bears an artwork of a wild boar giving birth to a wild boar. That's three in a row of those. And I think we're running out of descriptions, Rimworld. Though I remember Tynan tweeting months back that he was having a lot of fun coming up with a whole new list of descriptions for the final version of Rimworld. So that was one thing he was really enjoying. Um, Michael put this one together. Gray Desert, Beauty of 200, Steel Sculpture Superior. Work bears representation of Alicia. Brutally disabling an elk with an assault rifle without emotion or expression. That's our Alicia. Looks distracted at what she is doing. Panda smiles in the left part of the image while the overall composition is square. This representation refers to Alicia harming the elk with an assault rifle on 2nd of December. That was our infamous elk hunt. And that's the sculptures. So I'm going to. Sculptures and artworks, so I'm going to disperse those around or maybe leave some for sale, we'll see. And I'll catch you soon. Struggling to give these guys something new to do, I went ahead and took all the chairs out of the dining room and gave them the, the challenge of putting in elephant skin armchairs and polar bear skin armchairs. And it came out kind of nice, except for these poor tables that are here, so let's deconstruct that. But they're having so much fun with the chairs that apparently started to 
fight over the new uh, elk hide armchairs, and Manuel and Radar are having a little tiff over here. So Radar insulted Manuela, and this drove Manuela into a rage, and she began a fight. So Radar attempted to smash Manuela with his stout left fist, and Manuela used her right fist to clobber Radar, wounding his torso while wearing a savage look. And Radar smashed Manuela on the right leg. Manuela smashed Radar and, and with her right fist, injuring his left leg and left femur while wearing a blank look. Radar used his head to smash Manuela. Manuela smashed Radar in the torso savagely. Radar used his tough left fist to slam Manuela, injuring her right arm without emotion, and Manuela smashed Radar in the torso. Radar attempted to strike Manuela, and Manuela tried to use her strong head to strike Radar, but hit only air. And Radar used his strong left fist to bash Manuela, lacerating her left foot without emotion, and Manuela slammed Radar in the left leg, leaving a disgusting wound, and they're no longer fighting. So, <laughs> what did that do? A bunch of bruises and cracks for Radar and Manuela. Not so bad, though. Already had these wounds, the destroyed right pinky and nose, but just some bruises for her. Anyway, such goes the life of our colonists. So yeah, we'll tear this one down, put a new table in, replace that one, and then continue waiting for the elusive marriage. And an exotic goods trader just popped in, so Klaus is gonna go talk to them and let's see what we can do with this. Um animals mostly. But exotic goods that also means bionic parts, right? Good world medicine. Well, let's get in there. Oh, here we go. Anything interesting? Power Claw Bionic Arm, finally. Power Claw is a hand replacement. Eh, why not? And a bionic arm. We already have a simple prosthetic something, which wasn't going to give the advantage of a real bionic piece, but there's actually two fairly impressive parts. Let's grab those. Otherwise, um, I just saw, yeah, an insanity lance. Let's grab another one of those as backup. So, the bionic parts we've waited 200 episodes to get, right? What can we sell? Um, we have so many, so many wild boars. Let's get rid of some babies. Four babies each, yeah. Hens? No, we'll hang on to those. That's all we've got left. Do they have any roosters? They don't. Um, we have so many puppies. Let's get rid of a calf. Get rid of some kibble eaters. Um, 64, two years old, one year old. Wild boar number 131. Um, that's probably our oldest wild boar. Well, no, wild boar 1 is our oldest, 10 years old. Yeah, it's probably time to dump the older ones before they have another heart attack and we lose them. Um, what else? we got to keep Hachiko, our deer. <laughs> Do have the Ibex ram that just popped in. Yeah, nobody's attached to that one yet. We'll go ahead and make that one go away. Uh, beyond that, I've already cleaned out the, the boomalopes and what have you. So let's call that good. Anything that we want to see. they got this much to spend and they're getting that much more. Anything we want to buy from them. Just get that part done. Cougars. Do we want cougars? I don't think so. <laughs> Components? No. Uh, Glitter World Medicine? We could do that group, sure, just to have some backup. Um, wake up? No, none of the drugs. Plasteel? I'll take any steel you've got, but I'm not seeing any. Otherwise, took the Insanity Lance. Um, we have these to sell. Ah, ours are on display, so they're not in a place where they can be sold. There's no orbital beacon there. That's why. Oh, well. Elephant tusks are available to sell, so let's get rid of 42 of those. Boy, 6,700 coming at us now out of their 38. Yeah, we're going to have to tone that one down a bit. There's also a, one of the other tusks in here somewhere. Anyway, I guess the thrumbone. Thrumbo? No, I left a place for a thumbo, thrumbo tusk, but we don't actually possess one. Ah, okay. So, anything else we want to buy from them? None of those. You are animal box. Sculpture? No. Sculptures? Things that they're selling? 
Shoddy hospital bed and a telescope. We'll pick up another telescope. We need to eliminate about 3,000 here. So let's tone down the 42 to, let's see, minus 30. What does that do? So we can add another 35, 38, 65. Okay, that's close enough. Otherwise, that it? I think so. Anything else for us to get rid of? Let's go that route. We've got... Oh, that's right. No, because they're at... They're, we've got no... they got no money left to spend. So whatever sculptures are here, we're just going to have to live with it. Okay. Well, in that case, let's call this one done. Accept. And it's insufficient. Do it anyways. Yes. Okay. So... Dumped over here. Bionic arm and a power claw. Let's look through this. Bionic arm. Health. That's what uh, Tomasov's already got. So, Handy is right now working on some wooden shelves because I built another area over here just for fun. Now, don't make a new light. I've been doing that automatically, forgetting that we've got a ton of new lights just waiting to be installed somewhere. So, let's install a new light over... There's a good spot. And there's a void right there that could take a bulb. And we'll go back to figure out who gets that power claw. <laughs> Install you right there. And there's another void right there. Let's do that. Sometimes you just can't quite lay them out perfectly to have only pathways. I'll put you right there or there. We'll go there. Even though it's in a dead spot, it'll still light up. It's, it's surrounded by cabinets, but we'll say it's up on the ceiling. Sure. Um, Andy, you, health, are fine. Okay. So who's got major injuries? There is Shantigo. He's got a bionic arm. Permanent injury to the left eye. Never found a bionic eye this series. Uh, left eye, left shoulder, torso, left eye, left middle finger destroyed, sangria. Right eye, neck. Hmm. Permanent left eye. A lot of left eyes gone. Yeah. Bite scar to the foot, the head, left leg, peg leg. So it could use a, a leg. I only have an arm and a claw. So leg, leg. A lot of leg injuries. Middle toe, shoulder. Left hand, right hand. Frostbite scar is 15 out of 20. Old gunshot, 15 out of 20. That was who? So that was Grandma. Okay, we could grandma, give Grandma a claw before her wedding. Um, toe and leg. Right eye, leg, left eye, bitten out. A lot of left eyes gone. Nose, middle toe, right pinky destroyed, Manuela. So, doesn't tell me about the whole hand, just the pinky. Heart could use a new heart. Um, do we want to do an open heart surgery in Cyprian? Risk it going completely bad. Boy, I don't know. Um, left arm, left arm. What was that back up? Stab scar and left arm for Bliss. So Bliss left arm. Left arm also for Diamond and left hand. And leg, thumb. Pinky. Hmm. Did anybody have Pros the file? What pro yeah, file? Often dreams of. So there's Tomislav. So any other Pros the files? Probably the route to go here. Pros the phobe. So Natalia wants nothing to do with with bionic parts. Cross the file. Bill. Needs a leg and a toe. Hmm. Continue on. Character. Any of the cross the files. Wait. Back up. All these P's. Psycho. Psycho. Psychically and psychopath. Starting to blur a little bit here trying to read these. Uh, Daniel, we're almost to the end. No, no. Cross the file. Gnarly. Health. 
So Gnarly needs a hand. And he'd really like to have one. Rabbit named Alpaca to Persephone. <laughs> After being nuzzled. Okay. Um, so, yeah, his name Alpaca. Rabbit, what you up to? After being nuzzled, Duncan. Um, so, Gnarly could use a hand, I suppose. Tell you, I'll go through this again, and when we come back, maybe we'll have a couple of them in surgery and see how well that goes. Hold on. Okay, made an executive decision here. I'm going to give Gnarly the claw because of his right pinky. His efficiency is only 52%, so we, we've got to do something about that right pinky. <laughs> I wish he had some bionic eyes. That would be interesting to install. But let's go through this in case there's any of you watching have never done operations before. Let's set him up for his glitter rolled medicine and add a bill. Let's see, I said right pinky. Yeah, so we're going to put the claw on the right hand. In fact, let's pause this so it all happens at the same time. And I want to give... Where'd you go? Oath Knight. The... Left thumb is gone. It would work for the claw too, but none of them really work for a whole arm. So I went ahead and decided he can have the arm. So let's set him up as Glitter World Medicine. Much greater chance for uh, successful operations. And give him the bionic arm on the left side. Operations. Bill, left side. Arm, left shoulder. Okay. And I went ahead and set... Tomislav is the only available doctor. Is there a reason for that 15 out of 20? 14 out of 20? They're almost the same. All right, we'll give George a run for his money as well. So, well, actually, let's do it this way. I need to know that their mood bar is maxed out. George, what are you looking like? You're getting really close to it. You're cooking a fine meal. When you're done cooking, yeah, you can go, you know... If you're good at butchering, you're probably good at doctoring. Yeah, that, that, that kind of works. Okay, so with that then, I want Gnarly to go to that bed right there. Good, and Oath Knight, I want you to head to this bed over here. You're consuming a meal, so right-click and, and let's say it, send you there next. Gnarly, you don't need food. Oath Knight does. When he's finished eating, he's heading for here. <clears throat> Once that happens... Then George and Tomasov should get orders to come and grab parts. Though the bionic arm is still sitting way up over here. Because there's no more room on the bionic shelf. We have a bionic shelf. <laughs> Alright, he's got his food. He's heading for his doctor's bed. And with that, one patient awaits medical operation. Now there's a chance two patients await that this can go terribly wrong despite the skill of the doctor. So it's always a roll of the dice to do this. They can, you know, blood can just start spraying all over the room and body parts and pretty soon more left eyes are gone. We'll just have to wait and see how this goes. George is assigned to Oath Knight. And Tomislav, Billy Dude is no longer inspired for a shoot frenzy. And Oath and uh, Tomislav will be assigned to Gnarly. Right. Waiting for this message to go away. There you are. Tomislav installing a power claw. So he's going to go grab medicine as well. So medicine's brought, brought over. It needs two of them. Natalia's bringing more. Oh, so she's having to go get more of her stuff to make more blue medicine. But here's Tomislav. He's getting ready. No, they're supposed to be glitter rolled. Oh. Apparently that wasn't available when you were to do that. Let's draft and do that again. Hall medicine, put that. There we go. That goes right there. Okay, that's good. Glitter world. Now let's go get parts. So, oh, you're grabbing it from here to go to Gnarly. Okay. So Gnarly, you're first. Let's see just how... Oh, the blood's all over the place. Man, you are anesthetized. Daniel's no longer inspired. And to because of your right pinky with a bite scar, we're going to cut your whole hand off and give you a three-pronged power claw, just for fun. Let's see how well this goes. 
Oath Knight has not been anesthetized yet. And that one was a success. Good job, Tomislav. In fact, well, you did a good job. Should we just... Nah, let's, let's see what George can do. Just, just for fun. <laughs> It'll be fine, Oath Knight. You, you, you won't be maimed for your, your wedding. So you're taking so long to get to that wedding anyway. Um... Social, how are you doing? Gnarly, I want... Oh, both knights. 59 and 52. And... Haygrass died from rotting. And health, you're anesthetized. We're... George is butchering blood all over the place. And... And... We, we await with bated breath. What's the outcome? We're gonna get a, an arm or we're gonna have a tragic... Accident. And stuff flying all over the room. He is a butcher. Let's see. Come on. We're, we're left shoulder now has a bionic arm safely attached to it. Okay, they're both still anesthetized though. So they're both uh, unable to move, manipulate, talk, or eat. Good thing, good thing they got a meal before that. But that was a success. Good job, doctors. Let's fix the doctors now and send you guys back to ones. You guys can all fight over who you want to work on. And send you sea stars. You're a six now. We'll leave you out. So, Cathra, we'll leave you as bare minimum. Okay. And with that, let's see. What else was there to do? do need to set you back to blue medicine from now on and blue medicine so i saved the glitter world just for operations not that we've had to use much of it but with that yeah we'll I'll kick the game back up to speed two and wait for the next event hopefully it's a marriage announcement we'll see well it's finally happened Grandma and Oath Knight have announced that their wedding will begin and they are on their way there's Oath Knight and there's Grandma They've got their, their favorite toque and, uh, and helmet on and, and are in their wedding garb and <laughs> are getting ready for the main event. Everyone's got their favorite uh, wild boar nearby and, oh, someone's got to clean that up. Bill, can you, can you, can you, thank you very much. Yeah, got to, got to make it look good. Let's see what they think of their, their new, uh, um, armchairs here. Turkey leather armchair. Otherwise, wild boars giving birth. Well, we'll just have to miss that great event. And we've got our, our, our psychic insanity lance on display for the wedding here. And <laughs> all of the artwork and Bill saying hi to Faith over there. And that's as close as we can zoom in. Let's see there. Now we can center it. Now, where did the, the happy couple go? Uh... I don't know. There is an oath knight. There is a grandma. Right next, not far from the uh, the doomsday rocket launcher. Yeah, it's Rim World. <laughs> okay, well they're mingling and thinking about it. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this looks important. I think everyone's uh, taking their place. Looking for seating. Ah, oh, Alicia found a chair. Nobody wants this one though. And we've begun. And the, the wild boar is, <laughs> is officiating. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Do we have any kind of a running commentary? No. Social 59 and 52. And no longer will want to sleep with each other. The negative three gets to go away. Attended a party, 15. So maybe this counts as a, as a party. Wild boar's given birth. Oz is walking through. Here comes Vance. More wild boars wandering through and leaving messes in our carpeting. Yeah, cream carpeting is probably not a great idea here. Grandma and Oath and I have married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. All right. So that when they're ready to celebrate the occasion, we'll go ahead and set this up for them. Grandma and Oath Knight get their new fancy blue bedroom with the marble furniture. Otherwise, great conversations going on here. And I think that kind of draws to a conclusion. Freedom's Drift. Yeah, I think so. I've spent 
I don't know, six or seven hours <clears throat> filming this episode, taking little snippets here and there, and just waiting and waiting and waiting. But I have got a whole bunch of projects to take care of now. I've got a, an apartment to build for my youngest daughter who's just starting college, and yeah, I've got a master bedroom suite. I've been waiting for a couple of years now to get built for myself and Mrs. Rambler. I'm going to put in a new laundry room, move it over to another place. In fact, the, the bedroom suite, this studio, is actually going to become a, a master bathroom. It's just in the perfect place for it. There's, there's support underneath for a spa tub. So I'm going to have to put the studio somewhere else entirely. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that I want to get done in this building. And... Uh, I just don't see being able to do it while recording videos, so I'm probably looking at shutting down the channel at least for a significant amount of time. I'm not sure if I'm going to start it up again or if I'm just going to renovate until I'm burnt out and then dive back into being Noble Rambler again for a few months or just what I'm going to do. I haven't figured that out, but through the winter and spring at least, I'm going to get to work on this building and what happens after that we'll just have to wait and see I have a feeling I'll go through withdrawal symptoms and and uh, want to start recording something and quickly build myself a new studio the, the plan is that uh, it's over is that this studio Rambler Studio B becomes the new master bedroom master bathroom suite because it's right near the master bedroom and then the laundry room gets moved to its new location across the main hall and then where the laundry room was that was a kind of a, a dead spot so it may become the new recording studio if i do decide to continue with noble rambler but all of that is unknown and it's months in the future and i won't uh i won't uh decide to you know to know exactly what i'm going to do until i give it these few months to just work on projects around here and spend a lot of time on the business and, and try to resuscitate and get it going full speed full steam again so when all that's up and going and and uh, i'm getting burnt out and all that we'll see if that takes me back to the channel or not that's what started the channel to begin with years of working on the building and working on the business and just needing something fun to do but three years of this it's time to get back into that anyway this has been noble rambler with RimWorld Beta 18 and Freedom's Drift, and thanks everybody who has tuned in to watch and over the, the 200 plus episodes, and I will hopefully catch you all some other time. Bye-bye now.